Hello everyone, my name is Zerdy, and welcome to Lilac and Her Light. Created by a person I can't remember the name of, but that's okay. The name's like NPK, CK, I don't really remember. Let's begin, shall we? I think this will be fun. Controls, arrow keys, Z. You don't really need to use the action you know, option that often. Occasionally, but not often. When did it get dark? I must have fallen asleep. I should get my torch out of the closet. Now where was it? Ah, it still works. I should check if there's any deliveries, uh, if any deliveries came. Ugh. This week's food delivery came. I, I haven't eaten all day, but I'm not really hungry to be honest. I should try to eat at least. Let's put the basket on the counter. Turn gray, of course. Why does this keep happening? I know why, but ever since last item, or I don't know why, but ever since last item, everything I touch loses its color. Things, plants, animals, everything turns monochrome when I touch it. The only thing that doesn't is this old torch. I don't know why. I wish I did. As it is, I can't risk going outside. If I do, and I touch something by accident, they might end up like me. I should lock the door before going to back to bed, just in case someone accidentally stumbles in. Uh, what? Who's there? I mean, <laughs> that was definitely a knock. I need to lock the door. I came here in the dead of uh, the dark of night. May I take refuge in your light? S s stay back! Who, who are you? Huh? I, I thought... That's a witch light, right? I, I said stay back! Uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to startle you. I'll stay over here. You don't have to worry. This is strange, though. You're still awake. Who, what are you talking about? If you don't know what that light is, you should be asleep right now. I didn't wake up on purpose. That's not what I meant. Do you know what day it is? No, I don't really keep track of time. The clock just struck midnight. It's the witching hour of, on the Day of Lanterns. The Day of Lanterns? The festival on the first day of winter? Yep. People light lanterns to send off the autumn, hoping that people that the light will come back in the spring. I know that, but is it really winter already? Do you not get out much or, or something? What's the witching hour? The witching hour is, uh, well, after the last day of autumn ends, before the first day of winter begins, there is an extra hour. What do you mean, an extra hour? Exactly what I said. Go look at, at, the, at the clock. The hands are... Uh, <laughs> I didn't read the full thing, sorry. During the, the, the hour, the time is frozen, for humans at least. All the humans are asleep, leaving the world to the witches. That doesn't make sense. I'm awake and I'm human. I know, that's why I said it was strange. And you're awake too? Yes. Because I'm a witch. Oh. What? You can't be. I think I'd know better than you. But I thought witches weren't allowed to to enter without an invitation? Yeah, that's true. But you're holding a witch light. That counts as an invitation during witching hour. I've never heard that before. I don't even know what a witch light is. That light you're holding. It's a witch light. It glows when you pick it up, right? Yeah, and it stops when I put it down. Why haven't you ever wondered why? I don't know. I never really thought about it. I didn't want to think about it. it. It's the only color left in my life, and I didn't want to ruin this too. What are you talking about? Lately, everything I've touched lost its color. Everything, except this torch. I just thought, if touching something will turn it gray, maybe if I think too much about something... It'll turn gray, too. You turn things gray. What are you even talking about? Look around. Everything is monochrome. How can I look at it when it's this dark? Give me a second. Foosh. Magic sounds. How did you just do that? Magic. Magic? Like I said, I'm a witch. Could you please stop jumping around? It's, it's kind of annoying. Sorry. 
But everything is really gray in here. Including you. I guess you weren't kidding when you said uh, you lost uh, that things you touch lose their color. How long, have this, uh, how long has this been going on? Since last autumn. But the witch light kept its color? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I got it. Go what? I know why you're awake, even though you're a human. I also know why things uh, you touch turn gray. Really? It's your magic? No, but it's... it's I'm not. I, I'm just a normal human. A non-magical human, yeah. But the truth is, all humans have magic in their own. It's just the most that uh, don't know how to use it. Which is can use their magic freely, like what I did earlier with the light. But sometimes a non-magical person's magic can run wild. That's what you're doing. Uh, that's what yours is doing right now. My magic? Yeah. You see, everyone's magic looks a little different. Your magic is monochrome and seeping into the stuff around you. That's why you're awake now. You're like a witch who can't stop their magic. I'm... a witch? I said you're like a witch. Not that you are one. Listen properly, won't you? Sorry. Does that mean I'm stuck like this forever? There might be a way to fix it. P please tell me how! I don't know for sure if that will work. Please? Okay, but you'll have to do me a favor as well. What is it? I'm a witch during witching hours. Uh, time doesn't pass normally for me. Sorry, I don't understand. The witching hour doesn't end until all witches fall asleep. I need a safe place to sleep until the hour is over. Normally witches will leave light, wit, uh, witch lights out so other witches know where they can uh, stay safely. That's why I came here in... in uh, that's why I came in when I saw your witch light. I'm still not sure why you have one, but I'm tired and in no place to be picky. If you let me stay, I'll try to help you. Do we have a deal? Yeah, you, just tell me, please. In that case, we're going to need to get some ingredients first. Ingredients? Yep. I'm going to make a magic potion. Can you make up the stuff I have in here? No, we, I, we can't. I need a specific ingredient for this. But I can't go outside. Why not? I already told you everything I... Yeah, yeah, I already heard that. And I'm telling you, it's fine. But it's the witching hour. Everything is filled with magic right now. So your magic can't mess with anyone else's. Really? Trust me, I'm a witch. I know these things. I can prove it, too. Don't stand too close for me. What if my magic sleeps... Or whatever you said. You're just really bad at listing. I just said everything is fine right now. In any case, I'm a witch. Your magic can't do anything to me, so just relax. Anyways, here. Take this. But if I touch it... Trust me, it'll be fine. Okay. The clover's still green. Like I said, witching hour. Now, do you believe me? I, it didn't lose its color. Nope. And it won't later, either, if my potion works. Will you help me gather the ingredients now? Okay. Great. Let's go. D what? You haven't told me your name, so I don't know what to call you. Just call me Chime. Uh, it's nice to meet you, Chime. I'm Lilac. Got it. Let's go. We finally set off our little adventure. Hey, you okay? If you're telling me the truth, of course I am. It's really the first day of winter. That means I haven't been outside for a year. A whole year? What have you been doing this whole time? Just living, I guess. Eating and sleeping, and that's about it. I couldn't risk going outside. I don't know what losing color does to someone. Apologies, I had to cut away because that phone went off. What if, what if we just keep fading and fading? Hey, it's okay. Your magic can't affect anything right now. But if you need some more time to get stuff or whatever, just tell me when you're ready to go. Well, I would say I'm ready. I'm ready. If you're sure. Let's go. Wow. Nothing's changed. So you really just stayed inside for a year. Yeah, but it was night before winter then, too. Everything's just like I remember it. I could have just looked out the window. I kept the shutters closed, just in case. I thought that maybe if I looked at something, it might turn gray, too. I see. Anyways, don't you know where the closest body of water is? 
There's a lake to the west, uh, just down the road. Over there. Hmm, that should do. By the lake. Ingredients, of course. Lead the way. Okay, let's lead the way. Ah, yes. The lake's just ahead. Wow, it's bigger than I expected. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, this should be okay. We need to get a little bit further out, though. Further out? We need water for this potion. I have a tap at home, though. It has to be fresh water. It's no good if it's too close to the shore. Do you think there's a boat we can borrow? They usually have boat rentals, but they're probably closed for the winter. They do have a dock we can walk on, though. I guess they'll have to do. So what happens if we interact with this? This is where we usually do boat rentals. It's closed, though. Yeah, I don't see any boats on the lake, either. Too bad. The view is really nice on the lake. We can take a ride in the springtime, then. Maybe if I get better. Okay, this is the end of the dock. Great! Let's see if, uh, just get my pot out. Pardon? Did you just say, there? Why are you carrying a pot? Where, where were you even keeping that? I'm on the road a lot, so I use this to cook. You can cook pretty much anything in a pot. Oh, do you like camping? Eh, something like that, yeah. Anyways, could you fill this with water? Okay, how much do you need? As much as you can fill it with. How are you going to carry it back, though? Water's pretty heavy and that might spill. Don't worry, it's a magic pot. Okay. Let's take the lid off then and put this in the water. Uh, the, the water's really cold. Is this enough? Yeah, that's just fine. Ah! I spilled the water. I, th I thought you said the pot was magic. Yeah, but you still need to put a lid on first. Oh. Okay, I got the water. Finally, that's all we need from the lake. Let's go and look for the other ingredients. Alright, alright. Hopefully I won't mess up the next time we need to go to the next location. So, let's head out. Now, what do we need next? Okay, so we got the water for the potion base. Next, we're going to need some false mugwort. I know there's mugwort around here, but that's why the town's called mugwort. I've never heard false mugwort, though. Yeah, you wouldn't have. It's a magical plant. Do you know when uh, mugwort season is? Uh, usually near the end of spring, right? I used to pick leaves for tea. Correct. Uh, it's picked in spring and the flowers to fall. False mugwort's different. It looks identical to regular mugwort. The season's reversed, though. Flowers through spring and picked in autumn. False mugwort's magically, uh, magical properties that reach the peak during witching hours. It actually is very rare, but I've heard it grows around here. It hides amongst regular mugwort. That's the case. They can, you can find regular mugwort in the, on the mountains. Regular mugwort. I meant to say mugwort. We just have to go north. It's a bit of a walk, though. I don't mind showing the way. So we gotta go north now. Haha. <laughs> it's really dark. You sure you know the way? I should be fine. I used to hike here every morning. What on earth for? I like the air up here. Huh. It, it does feel like it'd be nice and calming and peaceful and all that, but it, it'd be nice. If I remember correctly, there should be a really big pine tree up ahead. The, the tree? Oh no, it's just a stump now. Did it get cut down or something? I don't think so. They were just old. I guess there's some things that have changed since last year. Let's keep going. Uh, that's sad. I'll just keep going anyways. Don't let a dead tree stop us now. Still enjoy the place. Ah, we made it. Ah, the stars are so beautiful. The sky is so clear. Wait up. Wow, you were fast when you want to be. Ah, eh, sorry. It just... It's been a whole year since I've been here. And just as beautiful as I remember. I guess. You don't agree? I could just stare up at the stars all night. I prefer a ceiling over a starry night myself. I thought you said you like camping. Doesn't that invoke a lot of sleeping outside? Anyways, 
that's a whole field of mugwort. Oh, I'm right, yeah, this is the place where I was talking about. It grows wild here. Now we just need to find some false mugwort. You can tell the difference by just looking. The false and regular mugwort look the same. How should I look for it then? False mugwort wouldn't have any flowers. If you see a plant without flowers, pick some leaves and bring them here. I'm a witch, so I can't tell if it's false or regular mugwort once I touch it. Oh, I can't tell. I do. Me and words. Wouldn't it be faster if you picked them? False mugwort is more effective if it's harvested by the person who plans on using it. Okay. What if I get the wrong leaf? You just cook it or something, brew some tea. Don't worry about it and just start looking. Alright, if I remember from my last playthrough, this is what I'm looking for. Damn, I'm going to go for a specific phone again. Mm, that's okay. Ah, this leaf isn't flowering. Could it be a false mugwort? Did you find anything? Yeah, here. This is plain old mugwort. Oh, don't feel too bad about it. Non-magical mugwort is pretty useful too. Okay, I guess not. Where's that fuck? <laughs> yeah. I finally found it. Hey, it doesn't look any different at all. I told you it looks just like regular mugwort, didn't I? I can tell though. It's the real thing, or false, I guess. Uh, Way more potent on November grass than I've ever seen. November grass? No, that's what, just what we call it. Regular non-magical mugwort in May uh, grass since it's picked in May. False mugwort is November grass since it's best picked in November. Really, false mugwort would be perfect. You did a good job. Really? Yep. I'll make for a strong potion. Show me where you found it? Sure. Yeah, it's weird. It changed from last time I did it. I think it changes through playthrough, so if you're gonna do it, if you're gonna play the game, be very careful, because mine did that. Just give me a moment. I picked some for myself, too. What are you gonna use it for? Eh, false, false mugwort's rare, so it's viable. This will help me on my travels. You sell magical herbs? Sometimes, or I barter for other goods. Anyways, this is all I need from here. Let's get started heading back. Now we can. Now, if we check out this area, let's find out what happens if you go the wrong way. Sorry, trail closed for the winter. Come back in spring. Okay, so can't come back here until spring. But that's okay. We don't need it. We're just gonna head back down. Look at the other ingredients we need. if I stop running into things. So, we have the lake water, and we have the false mugwort. What else do we need for this potion? I'm getting pretty enthusiastic, aren't you? I no, I don't worry about it. It's a good thing. We just need a few ingredients. What's left? Mm, I think you'll have to buy them in town. I think the shops will be closed. That's fine, we can pay them in the morning. I guess. The town's the east of my house. Okay, lead the way. Now we get to go to the you know, the, the town, the last place you need to go to. Wait, what is it? Uh, never mind, something. Actually, real quick, I want to read this. I have mail? I mean, you said you didn't go out for a year. I wonder who it's from. You should probably leave it for now, though. But we need space with the ingredients. That's true. I never actually looked at that in my first playthrough, so that's kind of neat. Now it's just ahead. Hmm? The chime. The town's just ahead. Right, sorry. Now instead of hotel, let's check up here. Sorry, trail closed for the winter. Come back in spring. Can't go in the water, huh? Okay, I thought you could. We're almost there. I'll wait here. Let me... Let me tell you what you need to get. Uh-huh. You're not coming with me. I don't know if you've forgotten, but I'm a witch. I can't enter non-magical dwellings without an invitation. Oh? Sorry, I completely forgot. How do I do it? Hmm? How do I invite you? Is there anything special that I have to say? No, but... Oh, but... I've been living outside of town. Will that be a problem? No. Should be fine, but... Okay, then I'll... Wait. What is it? Did I do something wrong? No, that's not it. 
a little itchy now. I know that. You really sure you want to invite me into this new town? I think the other people living there might have something to say about that. I'll admit that I was afraid at first, but you're the first witch I've ever met. And you've been helping me this whole time. And the stuff I've, I touch doesn't turn gray now. Just like you said. So I trust you. So I invite you, Chime the Witch, into Mugwort Town. Let's go! So, what do we need to get, Chime? I, I don't know if I should be here. The townsfolk find out a witch was here. Nobody will mind. I'll tell them how you've helped me. I don't think that will change their mind. Why not? You're being so nice, helping me even though you don't have to. First, I'm only helping you so I have a place to sleep tonight. Secondly, most people aren't so quick to change their minds. Why do you think I travel with a pot all the time? Because you like cooking? No, because most inns don't let witches in. Most stores don't either. I have to camp outside and just cook whatever. I can find it most of the time. Why wouldn't people let witches in? Would you let me in if you knew I was a witch? But you've been so nice to me. You're different from different from all the stories you've heard about, right? Well, everyone has heard those same stories, and they keep telling them. So, I don't even bother trying to get a room at the inn anymore. I'm going to camp outside and have stuff thrown at me. Sorry. Why are you apologizing? I don't know. It just doesn't seem fair. Well, I'm used to it. I guess there's no helping it now. I'm already here. Where's the store? Oh, it's the building to the left with the red roof. I'll go pick up the last ingredients. Time I... Hmm. I should wait for Chime. Oh, there's Kitty Cat. Hi, Kitty Cat. Oh, Kitty Cat. Couldn't sleep. Meow. You stray? I don't remember owning a anyone owning a cat. Meow. Let's see if you have anything I can, uh, if anything you can eat. What do cats like, anyways? Hmm. Whoops, I should keep that in my pocket. Meow. Wait, no, no, come back here! So yes, now we have to actually chase down the cat. Oh, that was actually easier than the first time I had to do that. Caught you. Sorry, kitty, but that isn't for you. I really need it. Meow. Wait, come back here. Yeah, now we have to actually chase down the cat again. The second time. Oh, you're such a brat. Caught you again. I'm confiscating this. Sorry, kitty, but I can't let you have it. I worked really hard to get this. Don't look at me like that. I'll go get some food for the store from you. I should check on Chime, too. Chime, did you get the ingredients? Chime? Sorry about earlier. Huh? It sucks being a witch, but it's not like that's your fault. But I just... I took it out on you. So I'm sorry. No, I... Don't apologize. I didn't realize things were so tough for witches, and I said some insensitive things. I'm the one who should apologize. Okay, this is stupid. Let's just say we're both sorry and move on. But I still feel bad about what I said. Then I forgive you if that will make you feel better. Anyways, I grabbed the last ingredients and I just paid by putting money in the register. Thank you. Uh, does that mean we can go back? Yes, unless you want to pick up something. Oh, I was going to get some cat food. Uh, do you know what cats like to eat? I don't know the cat, but why? The cat outside earlier and I thought I'd get something for it. Outside? Just walking around? Yeah, I, that's, I'd say it was running more than walking. I'm just leave it. But what if it's hungry? I don't think there's anything in here that cats can eat anyways. Just give the cat a stomach ache. Oh. Come on, let's head back. Okay. Time? Coming. Wait, I'm just gonna pick up one more thing. This should do. And that should be enough to cover it. Okay, let's go. What'd you buy? Uh, you'll see when we get back. And we now have grabbed everything, but I'm going to take the time to actually showcase everyone's house in town. Uh, Daphne lives here. She's my friend. I think she would like you. Sure. Could we go somewhere else? I'm not fond of churches. That's the story we've already been in. 
This is Mint's house. Mint? To be honest, I don't know much about them. They're very nice, though. I'm sure they are. And this is where my brother Privet lives. Your brother? Yeah, though I'd say he's probably sleeping right now. I can introduce you to him tomorrow. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. This is Rosemary's house. Who's Rosemary? Eh, she works at the store. The store is closed right now, though. Hmm. So now that we we can actually look at what's up here, because I want to showcase that too. The road leads to a train station. You get trains here? Yeah, though it's the only one, and it doesn't come there often. The train doesn't run at night, so there's no point in going to the train station now. Now I'm kind of curious if this is the first time Chime's been in here, like this whole town. Why? How, how did she not know the layout of the town? How did she get here? Did she come here from a hiking trail or? Like I'm kind of curious. Maybe she came from like the right and came through the forest. I don't know. Some questions there. Okay, where do you want me to make the potion, or where do you want to make the potion? What are you saying? I'm not doing it all by myself. Huh? Here, take the ingredients I got from the store. Wait, I, I can't hold all this. I'll tell you the instructions, so pay attention. If you're playing through this, you might want to pay attention too. But I'm not a witch. I don't know how to make potions. Don't worry, I'll tell you exactly how to do it. Give me the, uh, I'll give me the pot and the false mugwort, though. The mugwort, too, uh, since you have it. Okay, but I really don't... I'll do the hard part, but I still need you to listen. Are you ready? I really don't know if I can do this. Lilac? Just earlier tonight, you couldn't even leave your house. You went out. You got all the ingredients. There's nothing bad happened, right? No. This potion will make you get better. But in order to do that, I need your help. You can do this. Are you ready? Yes. How do I make a potion? Okay, listen carefully. First, cut up the vegetables. Next, cook the vegetables in oil until they get soft. Turn off the stove and mix in the flour. Then add milk and stir in. Add salt and pepper and boil until ready. Last, add a clover on top. Got it? What? This recipe doesn't sound very magical. Are you a witch? No, but then just trust me on this one. Do you remember the instructions? I do. Great. I'm going to work on the other half of the potion. Call me when you're ready. Okay, now we have the instructions, we can actually go and start this. Okay, Chime's working hard on the other half. I have to do my best, too. Okay, what was the first step? We want to chop the vegetables. Okay, next we want to cook until soft. And then we want to turn off the stove. And then we add milk. Put a good stir. And then we boil. Okay, this looks good. What's the final step? Add the clover. I know you're supposed to season it, but I went ahead and just did that way. It works too. Yeah, don't worry. I'm finished? Great, I'm just about done too. Let's get you, uh, let's get you to try this potion. Sorry, but I only have one cushion. That's okay, I'm used to hard surfaces. Like I said, I camp a lot. It must be really hard living like that. Well, I can say it's very fun. But you get used to it, though. Anyways, try this. Infuse the false infusion of false false <laughs> mugwort. I can't talk. Okay, it's sweet, though it would taste better like medicine. Yeah, I thought it might be an issue, so I picked up some sugar right before leaving the store. Tastes okay, then. Yeah, it's actually kind of nice, like herbal tea. Don't feel any different, though. The magic won't work that quickly. It'll probably take a few hours. Since then, uh, is since the time is essentially frozen. During witching hour, you'll have to wait until morning. Oh. You also haven't taken the other half of the potion yet. Oh, right, the part I made. I, I hope it's okay. I worried if I got a few steps wrong. I don't think you could have messed up. The instructions were very simple. I'll go have a taste. Let's have a taste. And... How is it? Eh, not bad, actually. Have some yourself. Right here, make sure you drink all of it. Okay. This tastes good. Okay, I'm finished. I don't feel any different, though. Like I said, it'll take some time, though. Does your stomach feel okay? My stomach? I think so. Why? Magic Clover is very potent, but because of that, it can have some adverse effects. That's why I had you brew it in a stew. Oh! A stew? Yeah, cream stew. 
Only the clover was necessary for the boat. Only clover was necessary. Wait, all, so all I had to do was boil the clover? Technically, yeah, but I said clover had some side effects. Not still, you might have just vomited back out. But I have vegetables and flour here. Why? We didn't have to go to town. Well, I was worried to stock up on some supplies myself. There's no way I can't go into the non magical shops. I was going to have uh, you buy stew ingredients and plus a few extra for me. Then I ended up just buying them myself since you let me into town. Anyways, it all turned out okay, right? Don't worry about the small stuff. Come on, I made some tea too. Do you just have some extra cups I can use? I think I do. Let me just check the closet. I have exactly two cups. Perfectly, I'll pour the tea for both of us. Come sit over here. Ah, this is good tea. This is mugwort's tea, right? Yep, it's just regular mugwort's tea. It helps with digestion, so I thought it'd be good to have some after your potion. Thank you, it's really nice. You could have just told me you wanted to go shopping. You didn't need to pretend like it was for the potion. I didn't know if you would want to help me, since I'm a witch and all. I do uh, want to help you, I mean. You help me gather ingredients and make a potion that will fix my color issue. I've been stuck inside for a whole year, but tomorrow I'll be able to go outside again. It's all thanks to you, but I didn't know anything about witches and how people treated them. Isn't there anything I can do to pay you back? You gave me a place to stay, and it's enough already. Thank you, Lilac. Come on, it's late. We should get some sleep. I've had some extra blankets you can use. That'd be great, thanks. Let's just, let me go get them. Oh, do you mind sleeping over here? Sorry, I only have one bed. That'd be fine, thanks. You can drink the water straight from the tap if you get thirsty at night. I should be fine. There's also some fruits on the counter in case you get hungry. Okay, I'll be here if you, and let's just get some sleep already. All right. Good night, Chime. Good night, Lilac. It's bright. Must be morning. Everything has color again. And I have color again, too. The potion worked. The potion worked. It really worked. Thank goodness. I have to thank Chime. Wait, what's Chime doing over there? Time, the potion worked. Thanks so much. Now I can live normally again. Yeah, I noticed. I, uh, I'm glad my hunch was right. Your hunch? About your magic. I knew that your magic was going nuts, so I made a potion to stop that. But all the potion did was stop your magic from seeping into things around you. It shouldn't have fixed your color. But then, why am I not gray anymore? My hunch was that your mental state was manifest in your magic. I didn't know what happened a year ago, but something tipped your emotional state. An incident which was sad or shocking, maybe. It's put your magic out of balance and tried to protect you. Your magic stabilized. Uh, it's something calm, something still, to a flat gray state. While this kept you safe, it also made you gray, which can be dis distressing for a human. So my hunch, if this was caused by magic trying to protect you, whatever happened, and you stopped going outside ever since that incident. If I could get you outside and show you that it was okay, your magic would be, you know, know you were safe. So if it stopped trying to protect you, and your normal color would return. So what you're saying is, all I need was to cheer up? Of course not. You have a genuine magical problem. If I didn't take the potion, you would have uh, continued turning things great forever. But your magic can't work miracles. But magic can't work miracles. Yeah. The short of it is, uh, you turned gray because you were unhappy. That was a manifestation of your magic. Your magic running amok made things worse. The potion fixed that. The potion can't make you happier. You might turn gray again sometime. That is just how your magic tries to protect you. But I don't want to turn gray. It's not like you'll be gray again for a year. You'll have good days and bad days. That's okay. What should I do if I turn gray again? Lilac. I'm just a witch. All I can do is magic. I can only help with the magical part of your problem. The rest is up to you. Anyways, it was nice meeting you. You're leaving. The deal was that I'd help you with the potion, and you'd let me stay at night. It's morning now. Yes, but I need to go before the townspeople start waking up. If your magic uh, starts seeping again, just boil a leaf of false mug for it. That stock, your, uh, that stock you picked up is really strong, so just one leaf is enough. I left this, uh, the false mugwort in your closet. Now I need to go. Wait. You don't have to go. What? 
I know my house is small, but there's enough room space for two. You can stay. You don't have to camp outside. Everyone in town's really nice, too. You can buy stuff in the store instead of foraging. I mean, I'm not gonna force you, but if you, I mean, if you don't wanna, but if you'd like, even if it's just for a couple nights, you can stay with me. And I'll show you about, you know, I'll show you around Mugsworth Town, so you can get the rest of before you go off uh, traveling again. Do you really mean that? Of course. The least I can do after everything you've done for me. I'd be really happy if you stayed. Maybe just for a couple nights then. Hooray! Thanks for cheer. Uh, thanks so much for time. Why are you thanking me? I'm the one posing. I'm glad I get the chance to repay you. I want you to meet all my friends in Mugwort Town. I want all of them to meet you too. But first, let's eat breakfast. There's still some stew from last night. Stew for breakfast? Would you rather have something else? No, it's, it's just been a long time since I've had a warm breakfast, that's all. I'll brew some more tea. I'll heat up the stew then. Oh, wait. You, uh, you don't have to use your magic fire, I'll just tell you to use my stove. Come on. The end. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed a game by MPK or MPC Casey. I hope you all enjoyed. I had fun with it. I would definitely recommend this. Links to it in the description, along with the Twitter of the creator and my Twitter as well, like always. So I hope you all have fun. And while they thank me for playing, I thank them for making the game. It was a really fun experience. I play it again. I might check out the other games this person's made, so I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.